présenter le nouveau couple marié, Monsieur et Madame Matthew James Bennett. We have been invited here today to share with Nathalie and Matthew a very important moment in their lives. They have decided to live together as husband and wife. Nathalie and Matthew commit themselves today to each other in sacred trust, they promise to embrace conflict as well as peace, to work as well as play, to struggle as well as bask, to give as well as receive, and to be with, stay with, and move toward what another. I'm Matthew James Bennett, take you Natalie Ann Yates to be my lawfully wedded wife. My best friend, my faithful partner and my love from this day forward. In sickness and in health, in good times and in bad, and in joy as well as sorrow. I promise to love you unconditionally, to support you in your goals, to laugh with you and cry with you, and to cherish you for as long as we both shall live. Matthew, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As I place it on your finger, I commit my heart to you. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you, husband and wife. Matthew, you can, you must, you are allowed to keep your wife. Hello everyone and thank you all for coming. Our closest friends, family and those that we could not get rid of by coming to France. I would like to thank Joan, Natalie's mum and Kevin, Nat's dad for their blessing and I promise I will always do right by Natalie and our family. In fact, I actually made Kevin cry when I asked him if I could marry Natalie. Although um, Kevin did actually spill his whiskey when I asked him. So the tears may have been because of that. I would just like to say, Natalie, she's one of the most honest, kind and decent people you could ever meet. She's a brilliant mother and I am proud to call her my daughter. Where do we start with Matt? Now from the age of two, Matthew used to crawl around the house pretending to be a dog. And that's where it would end for most normal kids, but not Matthew. <laughs> Matthew would eat dog biscuits, he drank from a bowl, he wore a collar and lived in a cardboard kennel that, which took up most of the front room. Matthew liked nothing more than to be taken on long walks as well. He'd beg us to put his lead on and walk him round the garden, only answering to his dog name, which was of course Mincy. As if it could get any more embarrassing. Today, Mincy is a married man, marrying the love of his life, Natalie, who I'm sure you'll all agree looks absolutely stunning. Matt, on the other hand, couldn't be arsed shaving. I would like to let everyone know how lucky I feel in marrying Nat. She really is my rock and the voice of reason that keeps me sane. Uh, she is the other half to my tag team and together she makes me feel that there's nothing that we cannot do together. 
For these reasons, I got her on lockdown with a baby as soon as possible. Shout out to my boy Teddy. Natalie is the most amazing mother and I'm constantly blown away by everything she does. The amount of effort and determination she puts into absolutely everything she does, all the while looking beautiful and maintaining her amazing positive outlook and gorgeous smile. I love our boy more than life, including changing his nappies. And as long as I have Nat as my, as my tag team partner, I know we will all live happily ever after. One day, when I was sat at work, Matt sent me a text message which was never meant for me. So you can imagine the sheer horror on his face when this came through. There once was a princess named Nat who married her prince named Matt. They lived together very happy and changed lots of nappies and that is the end of that. How horrendous is that? It's awful. It made me sick. I did what any loving brother would do and shared it with every single person on social media. Matt's face was, it wasn't meant for you. It, 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 just delete that and I'll, I'm doing a limerick for you as well. No, Matt. Horrendous.